If you're looking at new construction, you should totally be considering Suffolk. It's a little bit of a drive to the oceanfront, about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on traffic, but you get your money's worth, it goes a little bit further, and you get a brand new home. So let's explore what new construction looks like at different price points in Suffolk right now. First up, we are at Franciscus at Bennett's Creek. There's two builders right next to each other here, and uh, this is a one bedroom, two bath place, just about 1,200 square feet. There are six models built out by Franciscus Homes. We're gonna be looking at the Brookhaven today, which is a hop skipping away from a decoy seafood, and Bennett's Creek actually has a really, really good disc golf course if you're into disc golf. Now you may be thinking to yourself, one bedroom at 1,200 square feet. Well, for some people, they want as much space as possible and it's just a couple or someone who's single and wants plenty of room for them and to entertain. So we have lots of modern touches here, some of the fencing and the exterior touches, the black gutters, I just think it has this modern aesthetic which a lot of people are going for. I think it's gorgeous on the outside. Um, this is a model, so obviously they have it decorated. This is not someone's personal home, uh, but the interior looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, they've kind of aired away from some of the grays here. You can see they went with more of like a washed oak feel on the flooring, and I think it's a good pick. The tray ceilings, this is a nice architectural touch. It gives some kind of volume to the room or some height to the ceiling. It makes it feel a little bit fancier if that's what you're going for. This master bathroom is keeping it simple. You have your own shower, a bath, you know, a tub, and plenty of vanity space here to put all of your knickknacks. Kitchen has a nice stainless steel package and uh, marble or granite countertops, I'm sure, are several different options. I really like the black pools on here against contrasted against the white. I think it looks really good. Nice little outdoor patio to sit and to commune outside to have some coffee and that keeps it nice and simple. Let's move on to the next one. 1001 Opal Street Unit 103. Um, if you pull this up on the map, it's probably gonna take you to a weird spot, but this is right across the street from the first one we just looked at. This one's currently available and listed at about 355, uh, so give us a ring if you wanna go see it or lock something in today. These are three-story or tri-level townhomes. There is a condo fee attached to them, uh, but let's take a look at these insides. These three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1,700 square foot, uh, built by Napolitan Homes. There should be a link below in the description. They have four models. We're looking at the Cortona, Cortana, Cortana? We're gonna say Cortana because we're Halo fans. Tray ceilings again, a nice big room. So it looks like this primary suite is nice and large. I like the fixtures that they used. Big walk-in closet. I'm a huge fan of these tiles, uh, flooring that they've selected for the primary bathroom. Contrast that against some of the like shiplap style um, like wall and the color of the vanity I think looks absolutely fantastic. Glass rolling door with a tile shower. Um, this is These are really nice touches. Dedicated laundry room is always nice to be able to drop stuff in there and be able to do folding and laundry all in one spot and it not be tucked away in a closet like everything that was done in the 90s. And then a big grand open living space with tons of natural light coming in. Uh, again, I, I just like to mention again, and I'm gonna use the word again because I am a big fan of like the washed white oak feel. Uh, the grays that have just dominated the marketplace for the last few years, I'm over, and I like this style of flooring better. Now this is a touch I think that a designer tends to do, or has become more and more popular, is to take the center kitchen island and make it a contrasting or like a supplemental color to the main cabinetry. I just think this is a really nice touch, it adds something visually to the room. Uh, rather than having it just all the same color. And this is a decent size island. I like that you can fit four chairs or stools underneath the lip of the island there. That's an interesting touch. I see that the subway tile is, is a little bit shorter and turned vertical rather than horizontal. I haven't really seen that very often. And you know me, if you watch this channel for any length of time, I'm a big fan of gas cooking. I will never go back to electric. That is a cool little touch in the bathroom there. I'm a fan of, I don't know if that's wallpaper or not, but I just think that looks visually very interesting. And this is a neat little touch. So you have a downstairs little bar. So if like, you, it looks like you could probably turn this in either to a bedroom or leave it as is as like an entertainment or like a gaming room. That's a nice little touch, that bar there. I think that looks really, really good. Okay, we're gonna bounce out into the country of Suffolk. So rather than being in the north, we're gonna be in the south side. This one comes on four acres, so 310 Babtown Road, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, about 2,400 square feet. It looks like this is still currently listed at 495,000. So again, give us a ring if you wanna go check this thing out. This is built by a custom builder in South Suffolk. Uh, it has kind of like the farm town vibe. It looks like a nice deep front porch there and a double entrance door to the main living space. 
The brick skirt around here looks really, really good. I love the double door for the entrance there. It's just something grand. I think it looks really nice. Trim levels, right? We're going up in purchase price. This is what you're gonna see. You, you have this nice like paneled uh, wainscoting or uh, trim around the interior of the dining room. Nice wood floors. Nice get gas fireplace with a beautiful mantle there. Looks like you have a nice drop spot um, for the kids to put their backpacks and shoes as they come in. That way they're not tracking dirt through your brand new house. The white and black aesthetic in the kitchen is my taste and style. I love it. You got stainless steel throughout. Looks like you have KitchenAid appliances. I will admit at this price point, I would have expected there to be a backsplash tile here. Uh, I think the gas cooktop and the pot filler is a nice touch, but when I'm paying $500,000, I kind of would expect a little bit of a tile backsplash because we all know that cleaning that textured drywall is a pain in the butt when it comes to the kitchen. I would like to point out that this sink, it's a nice big farmhouse like slate style sink and it looks like you have a nice wood cutting board that slides and fits right in there. I think that's a nice little touch. I'm just gonna go ahead and admit that there's, it's very difficult to comment on pictures of the upstairs when it's just a whole bunch of blank rooms, especially when it's not decorated. Uh, but it does look like the rooms are quite large. And then you have the primary bedroom there, which is absolutely enormous, which has a, a little alcove that you could put a little seating area, big walk-in closets, and then the master suite with the big soaker tub and the rain shower head over top is a very nice touch. Um, I would expect something at this price point. I think it looks really good. Now Suffolk as a city is actually an enormous amount of space. We're gonna to move to the north here on 1593 Cherry Grove Road. This is currently under contract. It shows at 699. I'm not sure what the final billing is going to be, uh, but this is what would be more of like a custom built home where you get to go in and select a whole bunch of options. So at four bedrooms, three and a half baths and 3,200 square feet, you'll see at 699 uh, the more space that you get. And I guarantee you the inside looks Fantastic. So the pictures that we're looking for are representation of what they've done prior around this price point. I'm sure the more options that you get, the more expensive it's gonna be. Uh, but architecturally on the outside, I think this is beautiful. I like the variances of space, the mixture of the metal roof with the asphalt, uh, the mixture of stone and um, that could be either hardy plank or vinyl. Uh, but I think just the visually attractive on the front is they've done a really good job here. So we walk in the front door here, we've got a designated dining room uh, with wonderful trim pieces throughout uh, and it gives a little bit more of a formality. The, the crown molding and trim along the pillar and along the top beam there uh, is just a nice little touch and that's what you start to see. And if you look further into the room, you have a, a coffered ceiling and that is uh, a much more complicated detail to do. But um, you know, when you're buying at this price point, this is stuff that they'll put into homes. I really love the selection of wood floors in here. And then this is carrying on with that contrasting island to main cabinet color. Uh, and the island here is huge. The pendulum lights that they have over the main island is a really good touch. Plenty of can lighting, you see they added accent lighting underneath the cabinets and the above cabinets. Uh, I just think whoever uh, the builder is on this did an exceptional job and it looks very, very good. I'm a big fan of any type of like butler's pantry or side pantry to hold the adult drinks. That way it can be something separate. Um, and some of them actually even come with locks so that your kids can't get into it. Uh, but having that de designated space is a nice little touch to have built into the floor plan. If I'm looking at this picture, right, it looks like the gas fireplace from the living room to the out carries to the outside. So it's a double sided fireplace. That's a nice touch. Big landing. Uh, you can see up in the ceiling on the landing, there's uh, built in speakers into the ceiling, which would make me think or believe that they probably have a whole house sound system. So the primary suite here, you have, um, it looks like not a single tray, but a double tray ceiling. This, I think, visually just makes it very interesting. It looks like it's not these big blank canvas walls. Um, much like the reason you put art on your wall, it's nice to have these layers to the ceiling as just a nice kind of visual texture to it. Lots of natural lighting coming in through these windows. That is a king size bed, so it should give you a sense of how big this room actually is. And the soaker tub and the marble, I think that's called cultured marble. Correct me in the comments below if you know the actual name of that. Uh, but the, the ceiling shower head coming down and multiple jets, I think this is gorgeous. I really like when they do this, when they have uh, two separate vanities, one on either side and it's broken up in the middle. Uh, with some type of storage system. I just think this looks really good. 
So bouncing into the last of what's available is new construction, what we would fall into custom or semi-custom. Custom Homes of Virginia has several different floor plans and styles of building. Uh, this one I believe is called the Nolan um, and we'll should have a link up on the, the page now. Five bedrooms, three and a half baths, 4,228 square feet. Now this one's listed at 1.285 million. Um, listed by the Fit Team. They actually also have a YouTube channel, so shout out to you guys. And I believe this is just a visual representation, again, of a floor plan that they've done in the past, but should give you some sense of idea of some of the ideas that, and like add-ons and things that you can do with this builder. Like most modern homes, the living room, dining room, and kitchen tend to be open to each other and they've carried that in here. Whoever their interior designer that's picked out their, their lighting choices, I think it looks really good. I'm a big fan of the lighting that has kind of that wire frame on the outside and then you have uh, lights within it. I just visually, I think it looks really, really good. And it tends to go hand in hand with the black white aesthetic that's super popular today. The gold pools on this island are really cool looking. I really like these. I'm pretty positive that the windows on the side of each door are called side lights and the above one is called the transom. Um, I'm a huge fan of this. My own house has this. It just lets in more light and it doesn't feel like crowded or dark when you get to the, the door. And the landing area that they have here is done extremely exceptionally well. I just really like the colors and the touch points that they've picked out here. I am going to pick on the builder a little bit here with the photographer. Um, I don't know if they took the pictures themselves or paid for this, uh, but I can tell you with a semi-trained eye, and Sean is the trained eye in the room, um, that this is not very good photography. Whatever their lighting or camera setup could have been done much, much better. And if you're going to be selling a $1.2 million, $1.3 million home, you need to be showing it off in its best light. The kitchen is beautiful. I love this kitchen. I'm a big fan of the open like cabinetry where you have like floating wood shelves or you know um, like iron and like wood brackets uh, with the, the backsplash going all the way up the wall. I just think that looks really good. I'm a big, big fan of that. It looks like their designer did a really good choice with the kind of like Robin's egg blue on the center island there and the white cabinetry good choices. I think it looks exceptionally good. And then the built-ins for the drop station for the kids where it says gather there and the lights and the kind of herringbone style like wood paneling with the cubbies. Uh, whoever designed that, great job. This looks super fantastic and at this price point it's about what I would ex expect. The bathroom, um, the vanity looks really, really good. I'm glad that they carried the wood flooring into that room that looks fantastic. And then this primary suite is just a cool setup. That back wall with like the accent wall with the blue looks really good. The barn doors for the master bedroom and the master bathroom looks so good. I, I just, I really like what they've pulled off here. And then just check out this primary bathroom. The two vanities, this enormous soaking tub with the water coming out of the wall, and that shower, this picture probably doesn't do it justice. That shower is huge. That is an expensive touch, and I don't know how many people can actually appreciate the work that goes into doing and pulling this off and making it look the way it does. Now this entertainment slash playroom, I, I'm a big fan of having the multiple fans in there, pun intended. Speakers in the ceiling, that's gonna be a nice touch when you're trying to have a party or hosting uh, people over. And then the shuttle board area, I think this they have this set up probably exactly how I would like to have it set up in my own home. And then how do you go wrong with an interior, like modern like theater room with like stage seating, speakers everywhere. You can see a subwoofer in the back. They have it set up. This is super duper cool. When I eventually one day build my dream home, I'm going to have a home theater system. I'm going to let some of these photos just speak for themselves. This, this custom home builder obviously knows what they're doing. It looks really good. Uh, a lot of their design touches are just on point and in touch with the modern buyer today. And I was right, the uh, fireplace in the living room carries to the outside. What a nice touch. So if you're looking for the best of the best of what new builds have to offer in Suffolk without buying your own and hiring your own custom builder, this is what's available. Tell me down below in the comments, what should we cover next?